Konnichiwa, it's Koneko here, and for today's video, I'd like to show you my filming and photography equipment. But before we get into that, if you are new here, please consider hitting the subscription button down below to become a part of this very magical and pastel family. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is staying organized. And I use this very cute little pastel notebook that I actually found at the dollar store quite a while ago. I haven't seen any more of them or anything as cute recently, but fingers crossed I hope they get some more super cute pastel items at the dollar store. And in here I keep track of all my video ideas, um, anything related to my YouTube channel goes in here, and a little bit of branding across my social media as I do agree with a lot of other YouTubers who say that branding is really important and I know that I have kind of quite a few different things that I do on this channel but I try to focus a lot on this super cute pastel and also I've been doing a little bit more um, kind of Harry Potter theme type stuff as it's one of my absolute favorites uh, ever since I was little so I've been wanting to bring some of that in and some of my cosplays are, well quite a bit of my cosplays aren't necessarily like pastel themed so there's kind of a, a light and dark mix which is why I say magical and pastel because those are two key points where a lot of my not so pastel is quite like magical but also my pastel like my magical girls a lot of them are pastel if that makes sense it's something that I'm trying out and trying to keep a pattern going um, which has been a little bit of a rocky start as I'm still in the beginning baby stages of this YouTube channel I keep a lot of smaller things for my equipment in here at least when I'm at home so I know where everything is such as battery packs and chargers and SD cards and anything else that I might need to know where cords are or other pieces. I try to keep them all in this little box and it's pink and pastel because I keep it in this pink and pastel room out in the open so it's very matching. <laughs> I've had this box for as long as I can remember. Um, so I have no idea where it came from. It's like a fabric and it has like a padding on like the lid. It says still Jennifer Lopez, so maybe it was like perfume or something? I'm not sure. In here I keep all my little SD cards so that they're safe and don't get like dirty from all the other stuff that I have in here. I have two 32 gigabyte SD cards in the camera that I'm filming on. I have a 64 gigabyte one that's supposed to be better for this newer camera that I have. I have two of these um, which attach to my camera and also um, like the end of selfie sticks so that I can put my phone on my tripod which this piece here is the end of my Sailor Moon selfie stick. I keep it in here because um, sometimes I attach it to this and put it on my tripod. Um, I mainly only did that once actually for an Instagram live stream and I plan on doing that again probably for another one, but I do want some interactive live streams as well where I actually walk around um, with my phone. But yeah, so there's two of these and they attach to my tripod so I will eventually show um, the camera that I'm using and the tripod and everything um, to kind of see the setup 
but for now I'm using it so yeah these two came with the tripod that I got and I believe I got my tripod from I think it was called future shop but now it's best buy and I got my sailor moon selfie stick online maybe officially syndrome store I'm not positive it has been a while my SD cards are typically from Best Buy or Walmart and I have a extra pair of headphones in here just in case I need them for anything and I also keep my two battery pack chargers in there this is one of them the other one is charging battery pack at the moment so I'll probably just show a picture or a clip of it or something but um, this is one of the chargers I got and it came with two battery packs on Amazon I believe so that just stays in there and then I have three camera battery packs one is the battery pack that came with my camera and then the two that I got with the extra charger because I was finding that with like filming and where I do a few videos right after each other and vlogging which can be like a lot throughout a day I really needed more battery packs so here's the one that came with my Canon and then one battery is in my camera and the other one is charging so again, I'll just insert clips, pictures, magically into the video so that you can see them. They do look a little bit differently, it's not overly exciting. My husband got me this Gorillapod from Staples and it is a lifesaver, it is amazing. It is easy to handle, to use while I'm like filming myself or filming other things as I'm taking my camera around with me when I go to conventions. Uh, this is definitely a must have. It's very bendy and it always scares me when I go to like bend it to fold it to put it in my bag and like some of the limbs like pop out because they you can pop them out um, and make them any length you would like. Atop here is a spot for your camera to go and I usually just twist it on my camera and have no problems but you can pop this out and um, use like a screw driver or whatever to tighten that onto your camera but as I say I just screw it on like that and it has a level too so you can make sure all your videos are level and look okay and you can tighten or loosen this part here and yeah it's just great to be able to quickly like set my camera somewhere while I'm doing something um, but also just for that extra length and like you know I can like kind of use just two and I'm a little less likely to only use one um, as it it's not perfect it can still kind of bend and it scares me to think that I might drop my beautiful new camera that I mainly use for these videos as it's just kind of easier to use my vlogging camera as a filming camera but I'm also going to show my like heavy duty photography type camera um, that I've had for almost as long as John and I have been together. It was a Christmas in July present from him within our first year of being together. So this camera has been with me to all of my conventions I think and to Disney and everything and yes it has a video feature yes I forever wish that I would have filmed some clips even if like when I started my channel a year or two later that I finally like put together some clips but maybe one day I'll make it back to one of the Wizarding Worlds of Harry Potter or one of the Disney worlds and film some of that. Yes, I would post it on YouTube for all of you to see, but also just for myself and because I have regrets. 
so many regrets of not filming when I was there last time. All right, so this camera bag is really heavy duty. Um, it's also really large, so I do have a smaller one, but this can hold so much. I have extra bobby pins and safety pins in here for cosplay. And I usually, yeah, have extra SD cards in here, which oftentimes I will keep them in the bin, but these were still in there as backup for the Sailor Moon event that I went to um, at the beginning of August, so that's why they're in this bag. And they're, these ones are just 8 gigabyte ones. I mainly, I'll bring these as backup if I know that it's a, like, it was a small event and I'm not going to take a lot of photos, or maybe my other ones are loaded with stuff and I just want to keep events or things separate. Um, they're, they're, all good. I think most of mine are this Lexer brand and I have a platinum too and a multi-use. I'm no expert with camera and equipment stuff. I just wanted to share the different types of stuff I'm using and get any feedback of people who might know better SD cards or setups for example to use. All right, here's the battery pack and cord so it it has a cord for my Canon Rebel that I'm about to show you. And often this will also be in that pink box, but again, if I've recently been doing like a photo shoot or something, it will all be in this bag. And the reason why I don't always keep it all just in this bag is because I do have a smaller bag and sometimes I switch in between bags, so I really I have like the home base and then I have the two bags I switch between. All right, so here is my Canon EOS Rebel T3i and it has a side viewfinder. Even when I started my YouTube channel, I didn't use this for videos, but um so this one I use a lot a lot for photos for my cosplay photo shoots. John's getting really used to this one, which is excellent <laughs> uh, because it's really great for those types of photos. Um, I only have one lens, the lens that came with it, so if anybody knows of really awesome lenses that would be great for cosplay photos, please let me know. And it just has like the covers and it's your standard lens that comes with it. I've seen those lens tea, like mugs and I really want one just because, I don't know, I really like photography. I only did a little bit of it while I was at the craft college, art college that I was at, but it was very intriguing and I like taking pictures. I've always liked taking pictures and getting my picture taken when I was little, so yeah. All right, so now I'm going to show my tripod and my two lights, which I did a video quite a while ago where like I unboxed and set up all the lights and I was super excited because I got some studio lights and yes, I do often try to use the natural lighting for a lot of my videos, but I love the fact that I can film, you know, if it's dark, especially like for Canadian winters, like it starts to get dark really early and I really love the option to be able to use natural light or studio lights whenever I choose, um, whatever quality I would like. So here is my tripod. It's just a standard tripod. It can be extended quite tall, with those two things there. It can also go up some more and can be adjusted here. And you can already see one of my studio light. There's another studio light over here. So it has four, there's four light bulbs in there and you can control two on either side up and down with the buttons here. I actually haven't played around with that ever so yeah um the stand can be adjusted to go like whatever height really that you want front piece is just velcroed on they are decent sizes they came together i believe we got them from amazon here's the other battery pack and 
the battery that's inside this camera that I'm using right now is the exact same as the one that I have in there. And this is the first time that I charged um, the battery packs. Like I, this one and this didn't come together. This came with that other bulky charging thing that I showed. I know, technical terms, right? And the other one is exactly the same, but I'm showing it because... Alright, so I'm just showing this camera in the mirror. It's the Canon G7X. I think it's... Is it not Mark II if it doesn't have the thing? Because I thought I got the Mark II one. This bends back and forward. And it can like lean back as well. And this is the other stand for the tripod. And here's that smaller, more convenient bag that I have. It fits the that large Rebel camera and the lens in here decently. And it has like a pocket and some pockets on the side and a nice strap. It works pretty well if I'm going somewhere and I'm not, you know, going to be too long where I won't need like the battery pack and all this other stuff where the larger one is more of a con type bag because I might need to put like in like my passes or like our hotel room key or like all that stuff so the, the larger one is more of a multi-purpose bag for the purpose of a con even though I usually do have a separate bag which will be another video. If you liked this video please give it a thumbs up so that I know that you liked this video or leave a comment down below if you have any questions at all about any of my equipment or anything like that. Also if you know of equipment that might work better for me or work really well with the stuff that I have now please leave links or name descriptions of the items in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thought. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!